Hello there everyone and welcome back to Endzone A World Apart. In today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our big expansion. We're going to start by demolishing a bunch of buildings here and then we're going to rebuild a second charcoal kiln over here because our next expansion is going to involve using a lot of charcoal. We are going to be moving our water area over to this part here so we need to get our scrappers working on removing all of this scrap from this area and just to refine that a little bit more I'm gonna have them only focus here to get rid of these really quick this scrapyard is uh, we'll decommission that now actually let's just demolish it I also thought building another fisherman's hut right on this lake here was a good idea so we'll pop that down there and that'll just keep our food coming in. Next, what I want to do is demolish. Let's have a look. See if this is actually a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we'll demolish our herbalist hut. And our forester's lodge. And our gatherer's cabin. And lastly, our hunting lodge. Because we're now going to build this area anew. Right out to there. I also want to put down another forester's lodge in amongst this area here. So we're going to have relocate this forester's lodge, hunter's cabin, gatherer's hut, herbal hut. All of that is going to be relocated onto this road here. And we'll pop down another forester's lodge. Actually, yeah, we'll put it here. And all this Forester's Lodge is going to do is cut down trees in a certain area. And this one, this new one, is going to focus on cutting down and replanting. And we're not going to build it on the water's edge, we're going to build it around about here. And then we'll put down a new gatherer's cabin. And a new hunting lodge. Oh, we've messed this up already. <laughs> Just forget about that one and forget about that one. We want them right up on the road. Gatherer's cabin down and lastly a herbal hut. Which we're going to put right there. I'll leave that gap, I can't be bothered. <laughs> right, okay, we've got broken tools. The last thing we want to do here is just demolish this research station and have our workshop focus on producing metal tools. We're going to get our tailor's shops working on activated carbon masks and our recyclers will just make sure there's plenty of metal and plastic being made as well. Just increase our builders a little bit and we'll also speed things up. I also want to put in some more water carriers. And then we'll start putting down our new water area here. Start by putting a jetty down. Right there. And another fishing hut. Put it on this side, I suppose. It's only going to be 80% efficiency for now, but that will sort out eventually. Get another water tower in. Right there. A well and a rainwater collector. Put in a road. Have it lining all the way up here. And we just want to get it matched into that. Next up, we're going to put down some temporary storerooms. And I'll explain why as soon as I've got this research station placed down. So, what we want to do is create this nice logistical area 
and then move our marketplace. So the market we want to put right here. And then that is going to have an area of effect that kind of covers this temporary storeroom and another one that we'll build around here. Basically what that'll do is we'll have our logisticians going to and from these temporary storerooms and taking pooled resources, tools and things like that. And they'll be taking them to the marketplace so that everyone in the village can have access to them. And it should just cut down on travel time and things like that. Demolish that fisherman's hut now and they'll all move into the new one. And we'll demolish the pub as well because we've got no use for it at this present moment in time. And we can put the uh, settlers to use somewhere else. We're going to build another shelter. One should fit right in here. Almost. In fact, if I can just forget about this road now for a moment, our shelters will fit right in the gap there. So that's two new shelters. We'll just run a dirt road along there. And then we can put something pleasant to look at down that area. That's our new marketplace built. And then we'll move the area of effect so that it laps over here, covers that area there. This temporary storeroom, now that it's been built, we can just have it stocking radiation protection, tools, defense, and raw materials. And our new forested area is ready to go. I'm just gonna slow things down so that I can focus on getting rid of some roads that we don't need anymore, like this one. And these ones. And also this huge area there. Get rid of all of those roads. Don't need them. So what have we got here? We can get rid of our well on this side. And we can also get rid of the rainwater collector on this side. The water tower we're going to hold on to because we still need to get that one built. But we can remove the jetty. We are out of wooden scrap. Let's just uh, reassign some jobs. Because I think we are... Yeah, we've got no foresters. <laughs> That'll be why we aren't actually doing any forestry. The next thing to move is going to be the school. And we just want to put that right in the middle of the settlement here. Or maybe by the, uh, by the lake. Our scrap reorders run out of scrap. That's probably the reason why I'm not getting any in. This forester's lodge, we're just going to have them cut down and we're going to force them to go down there to work. We could do with some gatherers and a herbalist. Perfect. So we're in with drought. The market needs access to all of that stuff, but they will eventually get it once they start getting deliveries of things. We're just short on scrap and metal tools and stuff at the moment. That's not going too bad, actually. We've uh, made a decent start of this second bit of expansion. I'm just going to move this gather wood task. We want it somewhere near the storeroom, so we'll pop them into that little bit of woodland area. We've got one new shelter constructed, so we'll demolish this old one. And actually we'll demolish that one as well. Oh, great, just in time. And then we can demolish this market. So 
So all that's going to be left to do is get rid of this water tower now that this one's finished. Turn on the carbon filter on that one. So we are heading into a bit of a water issue, but we're starting to get a little bit more. It doesn't look like we're in much of a deficit. So that's good. Now, medical facility we want to move and we want to move the school. Let's have a look where we can put this new school. Should fit in nicely there. How's this research station doing? Couple more metal tools and then we're good to go. It's just the issue with the scrap that we need to solve. Charcoal kiln is burning away. Yeah, we're in a good position now, I think. And next we can focus on moving the cemetery and the remaining cabins and get our decontamination posts put into some decent places. And by that I mean we're going to put one here. And one up here. So these need a lot of coal. Meaning our charcoal kilns, we're going to have to put in some more charcoal burners. We'll just max that out. That's our research station back up and running. And we can do with another scrapper. Perfect. Did they build a road here or have I just not? Didn't even ask them to. <laughs> okay, great. So let's demolish this decontamination post. That may have been a bit too soon, given that we're short of coal, but we'll cope. School is now built, so we'll demolish this current one. We'll once again have them focus on handling clothing. And then we just need to shift these cabins. Before I do any of that though, I'm just going to slap down some decorations. Some nice flower beds just to make the place look a little bit less garish and they're going to be all around the school. Lovely. <laughs> and then actually we can... I deliberately left a gap in between these houses so we can put some more down. So we're about to get one decontamination post up and running. So as you can see, the market is now really fulfilling needs and stuff. It's getting neck scarves, activated carbon masks and things like that in from that temporary storeroom. That is working quite well. It does give me a tooltip every now and then, but that's just because they run out. So it's telling me that they can't be collected in the immediate vicinity and then just as soon as we start getting stuff in here it goes away and until we kind of get like a balance that's probably just how it's going to be the last thing i want to do before we close out this episode is just move our cemetery we're going to drop it down in there and then we can get rid of this one And then all that's left to do is move over our medical facility. We're only going to move this a touch, probably to around about here. Or we might put it on this side of the city, maybe down here. Will it fit down there, actually? Because I think that would be a good place. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we can demolish that. And then we've just got these four cabins to relocate. We can probably put a couple down here and a couple here. And then that is the complete settlement move. Get one there, and get one there. And one there. And we'll put one there as well. Let's just have a look. 
Okay, yeah, good. Right, so we need to, uh, what's this? An epidemic, we need to bury some dead settlers. Oh gosh, we've got a lot spread out all over that area. I mean, luckily, once we get this new cemetery built, they'll be able to go and sort that out. Let's just demolish these cabins now. And then that, my friends, is a complete restructure of our settlement. Then all we'll need to do is remove these roads that we no longer need. And then we can make a plan for growth. So we need some more decontaminators. We haven't got that medical facility built yet, so that needs to come quick so that we can get some new medics in. We'll pop down another couple of morticians, another teacher, and some logisticians just to move things around the settlement a bit quicker. As you can see there, they've lost access to it. And we've got contaminated food, so we need to produce decontamination kits on coals, which we're already doing. That decontamination post is now up and running. Oh, here's Mike, what do you want? Oh, he wants food. Give them all of our alcohol. Because we'll rebuild that pub at some point. Oh my word, he's going to absolutely rinse us for everything. Okay, that's not great. But we've weathered that storm pretty well. Like, I thought that was going to become a nightmare for us. And what it actually means is we can finish this one off by starting our research so we'll research the refinery and then yeah i think we can call it there that's been a pretty successful episode to be honest i'm really happy with how that's gone um, we've completely restructured the settlement. We've got good food coming in, good water coming in. And we're pretty much ready to push on to the next phase, which will actually be probably expanding our water capabilities and then building an expedition center. We're almost at 100 adult population. In fact, we've got a bunch of children about to grow up into adults and that'll push us over the 100 adult mark. And we can start thinking about the next expansion. Just going to put a road through here because that did not look good. <laughs> and then once all of these roads have been taken out, we can then start building residential areas out towards the bus wreck again and actually put in some proper streets and stuff. But I'm really happy with how things have turned out here today. If you're also happy with them, don't forget to follow this playlist. Give me a like and a subscribe. And if there's anything else you want to see with a settlement or any suggestions for me to improve on it, drop me a comment. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.